very warm welcome back to Get The Gloss. I hope you're really good. So today I'm going to talk to you about some of the products that have landed on my desk in the last month. We are so lucky because we work in a job where we get to try beauty products for a living. Uh, I don't deny that is very, very cool. So um, it's quite hard to try them all at once though because otherwise we'd all come out in terrible acne. So I haven't tried all these products necessarily but I do know a bit about them. So I'm going to start and basically one of the first ones that looks really exciting is this brand called Skin Laundry. I love the look of it. And it's come from LA, um, started by a lady called Yen Reese, I believe, and she apparently had quite bad skin herself. I believe she had acne and it didn't improve with age, in fact it got worse. I can relate to that because actually I seem to get, I'm 40 and I seem to get sort of breakouts now that I never had before and it must be the hormones going flipping nuts. So anyway, so she started a brand, she had laser and light um, therapy treatments that made a vast improvement to her skin. Very quick treatments that only lasted say 15 minutes. So she decided that she was going to bring this around the world and she's just opened one in London, in Liberties. I'm booked in for a treatment, I'm very excited. A couple of these products I'll just tell you about. The products I think came after the treatments and they are very effective sounding products. This is a nourishing cleansing oil and everything sounds like it is highly targeted sort of skin problems. So it's not an airy fairy brand, it's very you know, functional, it works. This is a nourishing cleansing oil. It removes all makeup and impurities. Skin feels softened, conditioned, hydrated. Um, what else can I show you? Restoring Night Serum contains antioxidants, vitamins and peptides to help reduce the first signs of ageing. One of the coolest things I've seen in the range is this clean skin pillowcase. It contains silver ion technology which apparently can help maintain cleaner, clearer skin while you sleep. Apparently this ion technology is an antimicrobial which reduces the presence of harmful bacteria. Absolutely loving this. It's 100% cotton. 300 thread count, therefore it's going to be lovely to lie on as well. Loving this, loving this, what a great idea, I've never actually seen that before, so um, I'm going to be putting that on my pillowcase tonight. Next up is Tan Lux, loving this range. It is a new self tanning range, here comes in this packaging, it's available at Space NK. It's a very luxurious, as it says, tanning brand and it mostly works on adding little drops of self-tanner to your daily moisturiser. So this one's for the face, but they've also got one for the body. I also went for, to be introduced to the products, I went for an amazing self-tan with these products the other day, and it's awesome. I, that's probably why I look so bronzed. It's not natural, because I don't really go this brown, um, but you can probably see, it's really bronzed. Let me see if got, you can see my stomach. You know, it's brown, it's really, and, but it's not ridiculous, you don't look really tangoed, and the whole ethos apparently behind the brand is that it's not an old fashioned tanning brand that makes you look like you've been toweed. It is very light, glowy, comes in beautiful bottles, and it's, yeah, it feels like the modern self tanner. So I love that, and as I said, you add a few drops to your moisturiser. This one is light to medium, there's also a medium to dark. If you're scared, I was a bit, then just use this one, light to medium, add one drop into, your, into a splodge of moisturiser and see how it goes. If it's not dark enough, then the next day do the same and add a couple more drops. They also have like a water, and it's a hydrating self-tanning water, you spritz it on. Love that brand. Okay, what else? This looks very exciting, it's from Sarah Chapman and it is called Skin Eaters Lash Boosting Eye Cleanse. And basically it's an eye makeup remover, but it has properties in it that are meant to increase your lash length, help your lashes grow. It contains biomimetic peptide hair care complex, capixel and amino acid rich. And so this, yes, yeah, so this should feed your lashes and help them to grow. I love, I love these containers. Basically, you press this down, you get your cotton wool pad, press it down on here, really easy, it's just no faff, you'd have to tip it upside down, blah, blah. really easy, you literally open it, press down, got it, wipe. Love the idea of this, 
Um, I love Sarah Chapman's products, especially her cleansers. I think they're amazing. Right, what else? Uh, this has come out. It's a pillow mist. There's quite a few of these around at the moment. Um, Neon does one. This works, do one. Um, this is lovely. It's called Sleep Well Calming Mist. And it's from the Super Elixir brand created by Elle McPherson. It's like... It contains lavender, chamomile, lavender and chamomile, really, mostly, and lemon extract, I think it says. And you can either spray it onto your pulse points or on your pillow, onto your antimicrobial pillow. And it has aromatherapy properties that should help you drift off to sleep. One other thing that I'm loving right now are these lip lacquers. Um, they're called Verni Aller Vinyl Cream, um, and they are by Yves Saint Laurent. Now there's quite a lot of like liquid um, lipsticks around at the moment. This is a great one. It does this, it doesn't leave this big slick on your lips, which I was always worried about. It leaves a kind of balmy stain. I can't quite describe it, which is a bit useless. It sort of sinks into your lips, leaving this balmy look. This is the palest colour because I don't wear dark lipstick. But it has a really good texture and also lasts on your lips. So you have this slight sheeniness without it being a gloss and quite dense pigment. I really love these. Okay, and last but by no means least, right, if you're vegan, you might want to look away. It has long been known <laughs> that basically insects, especially grasshoppers, can, you bear with me, can um, be a, a great source of protein. Now, I think people have said this when they've watched I'm, I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here. Anyway, Recently landed on my desk is this brand called Jiminy's and Jiminy's are grasshoppers, I think they're baked grasshoppers and these are in Greek spices and they are a snack and these ones are paprika grasshoppers, meant to be a great source of protein, yeah, um, right, I haven't tried any of these yet but I'll, I have kind of promised that I might. My, um, my husband tried one last night, my kids were absolutely disgusted. Um, right, okay, here is a Greek spice one. It is a grasshopper. Can you see that? It is a grasshopper with wings. Oh my god, you can see his eyes and everything. Sorry, sorry for the detail. And I'm really sorry for eating your lunch right now. Right, oh my god. Here, okay, so this is Greek spices. This is paprika. Oh, okay. Oh god. Oh. Oh my god. Um, yeah, it just tastes like a crisp, but I'm slightly grossed out. That tastes like a crisp, that's paprika. Oh god. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, quick spices. Crunchy. Quite tasty actually, I'll be honest with you, it is actually quite tasty. But if it didn't have all the flavouring, crunchy, yeah. Okay, so there we go. That's maybe the first and maybe the last time I've eaten um, grasshoppers. I prefer the paprika flavour, I'll be honest with you. But I am slightly grossed out. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I hope uh, I hope they sell well. Anyway, um, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.